distance. Alright, Deacon, we're not getting in there, brother. Okay, more tracks lead that way. Oh, what? Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, no. Does this fix? doesn't fix enervation. Dang, man. These are going to be some rough spells we're going to deal with if that's the case. Hall of Mirrors. Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Deacon? Yeah, can you identify my stuff? What is this? Ring us force shield? Wait, so it's a plus two to AC? What do you got on you? Doesn't do anything for you. Nah, you got nothing that deals. Ah, neither of us do. Oh, great, there's Dalen. Yes, Deacon? Um, Deacon read about this place once. It's called Hall of Mirrors, if Deacon remembers right, which he might not. What do you know about it? Deacon scratches his head and thinks for a moment. When Deacon reads about it, Hall of Mirrors be nearer to entrance, maybe, but some people who goes uh, not far into Undermountain sees it before. Big Mage Halaster moves it, maybe. Uh, Deacon not knows. But you need to be careful if you look into mirrors. Some of them does strange things. They pulls you in or copies you. Bad stuff. The mirrors be broken. Deacon shrugs. Deacon thinks so. There might be a mirror here that not likes that touch, though. There'd be lots of bad luck anyways, if I don't look into the mirrors. Then Deacon thinks you should be okay, though Deacon kind of thinks that'd be very boring. Uh, copies you. Uh, Deacon scratches his head, it's his chin thoughtfully. There'd be a magic mirror that makes copy of someone who looks inside evil copy kind of that attacks you deacon seems to remember that one of these mirrors is one of those all right and pulls you in you know it's like the world on the other side of mirror which is backwards or maybe that's another story deacon reads all right thanks for the help deacon so good to little deacon boss well i found dalen <laughs> all right up on your feet dalen Half-orc's eyes snap open wide. His head darts from side to side, seeking an enemy that isn't there, only then does his face focus on you standing how, above him. How did I get here? I remember a fight and then only darkness. Yet you seem familiar to me. You are an ally, yes? You were dead, I raised you. Can you remember? Yeah, I spoke to you and your friend at the group at, at the tavern. Half-Fort looks at you more closely. Right, you're Terry. He's the hero of Durnan. Okay. I'm Dalen Tiger, Red Tiger, the warrior originally from the Northern Uthgart tribes. It's starting to come back to me, though. There was a fight in the tavern. A beholder we chased it down here. I remember dying. Uh, you raised me, didn't you? For that, you have my thanks. But what exactly happened to you? We chased the beholder to this. Okay, so another volley. Throw myself into the darkness to chase after them. Never did catch cowards who ambushed us, and when I finally gave up the chase, I realized I had become separated from the rest of the group, wandering passages alone. How'd you get killed? I was careless. While searching for a way out, I stumbled into this room of mirrors. I saw my own reflection, but I also saw the reflection 
of glittering treasure at my feet. Intrigued, I approached one of the mirrors, one in the middle two of the east wall, if I remember right. To my horror, my own reflection snapped, stepped out of the mirror and attacked me. I was caught off guard and instantly put on the defensive. My vile twin was able to match and counter my every move from the condition you found me in. It's obvious that the ultimate result of the fight was. Don't know where that false imposter is now, however. Maybe in killing me, it also destroyed himself, or maybe this spell simply faded in the time I had been lying here. I, I couldn't really say. Okay. Going to do now. Half-Orc thinks, and his, his thick brow furls in concentration as he considers his options. I've learned it's too dangerous for me to survive down here alone. I'll probably go back to the inn, I suppose. Okay. It's probably for the best. Return to Durnan's Inn for now. I shouldn't have any trouble finding my way back. Maybe I can be of more use there than I was down here. Once again, you have my thanks for returning me to life. I was not ready to leave this world yet. Goodbye and good luck. Nice. Okay. So. This is where things get interesting. Now we could save scum this. See a reflection in a mirror, but on the ground near you, tantalizing objects almost real to touch. Okay. It's probably worth more. If you can get both of them. Nah, you can't. I wish I would have taken the other one. <laughs> so he said this one created a copy. One of those two. I really want to see what this looks like. Time to kill myself. <laughs> hey, don't hit Deacon. Oh, he's effortless. How did how did he die? Also, I didn't get to read it. You're you see a reflection in the mirror, but on the ground, your reflections are most tantalizing objects, almost real enough to touch. For instance, you thought you saw a strange gleam in your reflection's eyes. Okay. Your only hope for fame and fortune and to escape the life of a commoner was to become an adventurer. Guided by your goals and dreams, you have set off to search of excitement. You look again, it's gone. Pretty important. Lesser restoration is very important. Is this gonna gonna pull me in? Ah, oh, no. Death armor, huh? this do? Might as well get it, right? Oh, none of them pulled me in, man. I was kind of hoping for that. What hook horror. Okay. Great sword plus three, I'll take it.
So as long as we don't... What is this? The Hall of the Sleeping Kings. Um, boss. Yes? What is this? There's a hushed aura in the room that whispers of kings long dead. Long enough, perhaps, that even the names of the lands they once ruled have been forgotten. Deacon looks around the chamber with wide-eyed expression of awe. Deacon, Deacon knows what this place be called. It be a, a hall of sleeping kings. Sleeping kings? Deacon steals a wary glance at the skeleton about the room before continuing. Deacon read long time ago that bodies of ancient human kings rest in Undermountain. They be great kings and queens and sorcerers from the uh, all from northern lands that existed before other lands that have also been forgotten. That means they is very, very old. They won great wars against enemies who do not even exist anymore. And here they is given a place of honor by Halaster. Here they sleeps. Okay. They sleep or they're dead. It not be so different if there be lots of magic. Who knows that boss? You knows that boss. Um... Dead humans get up and attacks just as quick as live as live humans, sometimes quicker. All right, thanks for the tip. Leave sitting kings be, huh? There's a lot of them around here, too. So can I get these ones? Heel can go down here. Kinda, I think I can fight these guys, though, right? Blue Rod. Huh. go. Sword in the skeleton's hand glitters suddenly, almost leaping out of the corpse's grip as a voice speaks from you within there. it. Yes, you! Take me out of this brute's hand and away from here! I swear if I must suffer one more decade staring at this room, I shall go mad! Eh, who are you? Far be it from me to make a simple request and hope that an adventurer might do as they are asked for once. No? Fine. Let's start this out correctly, shall we? My name is Enseric the Grey. Or at least that was my name before my spirit was drawn into this blasted weapon. Yes, yes, chuckle away at my predicament. Go ahead. You see, I was once an adventurer just as you are, seeking my path through infamous Undermountain. When I was killed by this sword, my soul was sucked inside. And here I have been ever since. How long ago did this happen? I'm not exactly sure, come to think of it. it I didn't get sucked into a calendar, you see. Four or five decades, perhaps. Maybe more, maybe less. And where's your body? I don't see it anywhere. Yes, well, that is a long story. 
Just let me say that the first chap that tried to ask for help decided to leave me be and looted my corpse of everything. He sighs again. And then the rats ate it. How is that a long story? All right, fine. You want the whole story? <sighs> when you are forced to helplessly watch indignity after indignity being visited upon your body, you can't help but become a tad upset. Okay. And where? what were you in life? A mage and adventurer, if you must know, though that holds very little relevance now beyond the fact that my intelligence is considerable and I am very bored. Okay, and you seek to escape now. There is no escape from this sword now. The sword pauses a moment, thinking. Well, none that I know of. My soul should have disappeared long ago, but I was not about to let that happen. Instead of properly dying, I stubbornly tried to escape this sword by returning to my body. Instead of being successful, I became stuck. Stuck? Stuck how? Isn't that perfectly obvious? I've been joined with the sword permanently now, doomed to remain attached to the weapon of some dead king who hardly needs it, or anything else for that matter. Please, I beg of you, have the heart, my lord. Take me away from this hall and use me to chop all your enemies to ribbons. At least that would be better than... That would be a better fate than counting the dust mites on the floor. Might be interested. What do you do exactly? I don't do anything. The sword, however, does the same thing it always does. It draws the life energy of its foes into itself, healing the wielder amongst other things. Not too shabby if I do say. So is myself. Amongst other things? Yes, the sword has other powers. Shall I write you a catalog? Just take me away from here and you can examine me at length, alright? What's the catch? Hmm, yes, there is that, isn't there? Uh, the catch, my dear friend, is that these so-called sleeping kings that occupy this room do not take kindly to having their belongings removed. That is how I was killed in the first place. Greedy me, and I didn't pay the price. Or did I? Um, you look like a competent and tough young man, however. How bad could it be? I'll see if I can take it. She'll take you if I can. Excellent! You reach out your hand and grab the longsword from the skeleton's loose grip. Seconds later, however, a deep glow emits from the skeleton's eye socket and it begins to stir. Oh, all of them do, huh? <laughs> Where's that sword? <laughs> it's a plus four. And I can talk to it at any time. It's a... It's a Oh, this is excellent. I get... Okay, how many uses do you have, my guy? I'm sorry, but you're just gonna have to get over it until I uh, until I'm done with this. <laughs> Ooh, that's some experience right there, brother. Dang. one more level and I uh, I get to level 15 I just had the enervation to get over well now I get all their weapons huh skull key interesting Still have. Nope, still Time lawful. Die! Well, have a look at this here. Ooh, secret passage, huh? The essence of undead is so, so fine. Better come up with a new catchphrase, my guy. Dead is 
gonna have to come up with a new catchphrase pretty soon, my guy. Yeah, he's into it. Getting a lot of weight going. We might have to make another trip back up to town. Ooh. These guys are insane experience. Twenty three hundred for that. How insane is that? indeed good looking deacon so this is the way out then oh and did I have to come through here there's the tracks they lead into there we search everything around here? I don't think we've gone through everything quite yet. Let me see what we got in here. Oh dear. With a plus four, we can destroy this thing. Nah. That sucks. man got a lot of concealment going though I don't have my helmet to get rid of this guy anymore there we go it's good did you just de-summon your own bear Deacon's got a thing on that slowly gives him his stuff back, though, correct? I think he does. Yeah, he's got regen. He smites his enemy! Yeah, we're good, we're good. Boom. Busted it.
There we go. <laughs> 23, 18, 13. That's, that's pretty good. Just wish I had my boots of haste. Would love to use those. All right. Let's... Let me try this thing. How does this work? Relic is an odd mini rune device in the inscription engraved on the surface reveal a hidden truth of possible manipulations. Read description. Relic can place as many as five bindings wherever you choose. These bindings may be teleported too much to uh, back at any time. Binding will require one rogue stone. Teleporting to a binding has no additional cost. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. So I can teleport between them. So I need to place a binding back at home base, I guess. Bad roll. <laughs> Apparently that's a thing now, so I have to pick my. I don't really know. But I'd rather not walk all the way back home. There we go. Now I got it. I really need that belt of giant strength that they took away from me. I'd be well set with that. I'd be well set with that. All right, let's have him tug me back up. Hey, you got more garden stuff here. They're both chilling out. Did you guys not armor yourselves back up? <laughs> Yes, uh, identify my equipment, please. It got that dirty hair. No, no, no. But why is clean? So we clean, clean, clean. A fair evening. Okay, let's see what we got. Large shield plus four. Is that kind of the same thing? What's my AC right now? 32. Okay, we can sell that. Put that on. Search and lore. I mean, that's just a straight up better helmet for us. Okay. Deacon, what do you got on you? Got leather armor plus three. Okay, so... That's not going to be any better for you. Come here, gems. <laughs> I don't know what you have these for, but I'm taking them. These are mine. They're getting sold, but they're mine. <laughs> A fair evening to you. I need some healing. Does that clear my innervation up? Oh, it does. Thank God. Fair evening to you. Let's see what items you have. Okay. Huh, hold on. Is this better than the one you've got on you? Three plus three. No, that's six. Okay. Here, take a little helmet. <laughs> take a cute little helmet. <laughs> Staff of defense. It's just straight up better. Sell the long swords. I don't need them. Um, iron guts, huh? Oh, saves against poisons and stuff. Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm going to hold on to that. I don't know what this is. Death armor. That. 